Hey everyone, it's Tiffany. Um, I just, I hope the lighting is okay for this video because it is kind of dark. It's been a rainy day down here. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I had some friends that asked about printing, um, printing different sayings, pictures, anything that you want that you have on your computer, you can print those on deli paper and then it allows you to be able to collage with it or to be able to, um, making it that thin, it really makes a great way to add any additional elements or details without adding a lot of bulky thickness onto any project that you have. So what, I, what I'm going to show you today is how to print this on deli paper so i have a deli paper here that's 12 by 12 okay so this paper is a eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock okay just your regular card stock i got this at the office supply store so what i'm gonna do oh um, my desk is a mess um what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to and y'all know how i roll i can't find the scotch so i'm just gonna tape it on with washi tape but what you actually do is you take the deli paper. I want to make sure I'm in frame here. You take the deli paper and you actually tape it onto the cardstock. The reason you're doing that, sorry, hope I'm not making anybody drunk. Um, the reason you're going to do that is because you need that sturdiness of the cardstock to be able to run through your printer. Okay, so I'm just going to put. A small piece of tape there to hold it in place okay so that it will actually feed through the printer if you tried to just print directly onto the um, deli paper with as thin as it is it's not going to be able to um, go through without causing or having a um, having uh, paper jam because it's so thin it's going to get crinkled up in your printer so what i'm doing now is just trimming it down to size because like i say it was 12 by 12 we need an eight and a half by 11 to go on here and of course this is a if you have a little snippet it doesn't have to be the entire sheet that you do but if you have a little piece of deli paper and you want to put it on there as long as you can line it up it doesn't really matter if it's the whole thing or not. So, just going to trim it down. But we, um, you know, typically when you buy deli paper... Oh, pebbles, you're whining. Um, typically when you buy deli paper, you have to buy like a pretty large amount. So then it's like, what in the world am I supposed to do all this deli paper? And so this is a little technique that will help you use the deli paper that you have. So now that we have this secure, I'm going to put a little snippet over here. Now we have it taped down fairly well. Okay. So now I'm going to move this over to the printer. I'll um, stop recording and move us over with the tripod. That way we can see a little bit better. Okay, so I'm over here at the printer now. And this is just a regular um, HP desktop uh, printer. Nothing special, nothing fancy. This is the paper we just did. Okay, for my printer, you actually have to feed the the copier i mean the printer you need to know how it sucks your paper in and on which side that it actually prints onto so for me i have to actually print this upside down or put the paper inside upside down so once it takes and sucks it up through the printer it'll actually be printing on on that side so i'm going to go over here and click print on my computer And as you see, now we have the feather. 